Ladies and gentlemen, for the past 20 years, I've had the distinct privilege of serving as Governor General and Head of State of this beautiful land of ours. It was on the 17th day of September 1997 that I took the oath of allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen, accepting to serve as her representative here at home and to exercise the executive authority of St. Lucia on her behalf. On this memorable day, I expressed my thanks to the Parliament and people of St. Lucia for that singular honor that was bestowed on me. It has indeed been the most singular honor of my life, and I will forever hold the most cherished memories of this incredible journey. I still remain awed by the realization that I was called from among so many deserving persons in a land that, that has borne so many distinguished sons and daughters. I pledged then to serve you with all the zeal, the sensitivity, and the objectivity that such an expression of confidence deserved. On my assuming office, I chose as my mission statement to truly and faithfully represent the sovereign in St. Lucia in accordance with the provisions of the Constitution, to foster national unity and identity at home and abroad, to promote our national, economic, cultural, and social interests, and to encourage excellence in all fields of endeavor. Throughout the course of these past 20 years, I have drawn inspiration from Her Majesty's own steadfast and unwavering commitment to duty and service, and from my own upbringing, which taught me to look beyond the constraints of the moment to the promises of the future. I hope, therefore, that I have in some small measure been able to deliver on these my pledges and undertakings, and that you have been pleased with my efforts. As I leave office, I thank everyone most sincerely for the many ways in which you have enriched both my personal and professional life, for your generous and endearing support, for your gracious encouragement, and for the tremendous goodwill you have shown me. I want you to know that your joys have been my joys, your pain, my pain. To the young people of our country for whom I have an especial affection, I place St. Lucia and its future in your capable hands. I know that many of you were not even born when I assumed office. And so I am the only Governor General you know. I hope I have served you well. In fact, some of our young ladies are convinced that only women can hold that office. And I can think of no better accolade. My thanks to all of you. I ask only, therefore, that you care for our fair Helen, for its sustainability, its peace, its prosperity, for the resurgence of its spirit of community, and for a reawakening of our own love for her. I thank the representatives of those countries which with which St. Lucia has diplomatic relations, who have contributed so generously to our efforts at national development. 
I thank all the organizations which I have served as patron for embracing me as one of their own. As this chapter of my life comes to a close, I am reminded of Sir Arthur's farewell words to his Knights of the Round Table, and I share them with you. The old order changeth, yielding place to new. And God fulfills himself in many ways, lest one good custom should corrupt the world. So, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to announce that I will be demitting office as St. Lucia's Governor General on December the 31st, 2017. It has been indeed both a privilege and a pleasant duty to have served you and my country in this capacity. May God richly bless you all. I close with warmest thoughts and very best wishes to all for a wonderful Christmas season and a new year of peace and happiness. Messieurs, Mesdames, 17 septembre, te bay 20 ans depuis mwen te trouvé appointé comme gouverneur général ti bel pays noir. C'était li pli grand l'honneur la vie mwen. Et puis mwen ka remercier tout moun peyi a pou manière ou recevoir mwen, manière ou supporter mwen, encourager mwen manière où mettez confiance sur en moi, manière où embrassez moi en la vie, en chair, en maison. C'était vraiment un honneur pour te représenter la reine Elizabeth comme chef pays et puis pour servir tout citoyen saint lucien petit congouan, ni ça qui ni moyen comme ça qui pas ni Mwen ka a voudre kwè ki mwen te kapab di wan se 20 ane sa la pote anti jewte a la vi ou. Menen peyi a ansam anti miyet. Ende ou apwesye tout sa ki bel ek favwab an peyi a. Mesye, medan, le a jawive pou mwen swete peyi a o plez comme gouverneur général, et puis pour vous remercier infiniment pour l'occasion ou bien moi, pour faire contribution moi, pour développer belle Hélène Noir. Vini le 31 décembre l'année sala, mon kaidi a dit, mon ka souhaité tout pays la paix et puis la bénédiction de Dieu pour ce temps qui va venir. Et pour qu'on l'occasion, ça là aussi, pour souhaiter joyeux Noël et puis la bonne année. Merci, merci, merci en pile. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you most sincerely. Goodbye.